Well, there is a saying in the world of preparedness and response for epidemics and pandemics, which is the plan does not survive contact with the enemy. And your plan, the moment things happen, there is a part of it which, in fact, will not make sense. Um, however, not planning is a certain recipe for disaster. Uh, if you take what the governments are doing today, uh, that have been doing since effectively 2005, the details of the plan will always be different, that's why it has to be agile. Uh, but, but the overall structure uh, is something you need to, be, to, to put in place in advance. It helps you in your thinking process when you are in the crisis, even though not everything is, um, uh, is written down. And the way we do it is basically for each phase, we have a catalogue of measures. Not all of those measures are taken when you go from one phase to the next. You just tick the boxes, but you've been thinking about it. So you do it in a modular way, so you can actually plan and be agile at the same time and adjust to the circumstances. What I would recommend is make an effort to select which sources of information you will use for the next six weeks, for example. Okay. Select those and only consult those proactively. Once you have selected those sources uh, that you trust, that you think make sense and that they are relevant for what you're trying to do, you have to do the same thing with the indicators. Okay, what am I really looking at? Is it the number of countries? Is it how this sector is affected in my own country? Does it affect my suppliers? This will depend on your business, but select which indicators you want to keep an eye on. And again, look at it proactively. And one indicator, which I can assure you is not the right one, is the number of death, right? Because the fatalities, um, the death toll, it changes every day. It brings you no additional information on what you should do with your company. But it is highly anxiogenic. And so, turn off the television. This will help you um, also take your eyes off the very short term and try to look in the long term. It will help everybody calm down. Clearly, thinking long term is something that needs to be done before the crisis, but also during the crisis. Trying to imagine um, what life will be in two months' time or in six months' time uh, will help you also take your eyes off the immediacy of the crisis. And that will help you, in fact, settle down and take better decisions. This is a serious crisis. There is no denying it. Um, it would be very irresponsible to think that this is just a little thing. It's, it's over amplified by the media. Now, it is over amplified by the media, but it still is a serious crisis. There is something you can do. And those things are quite simple. And, and that's why sometimes it's hard to, you know, to, to, to people to grasp this. Is it, what do you mean? We're going to solve this worldwide crisis just by washing our hands? Yes. Yes. Wash your hands, cough in your elbow, protect the others. And that will make it possible to actually handle the crisis in the long run. It will change things. So it's an individual responsibility. It's a corporate responsibility because companies are actors of, uh, of, of the general life of society.